Welcome to another Tech Tuesday at FiTech. My name is Jeremy. Today we're gonna to cover fitting and installing the sending unit into your EFI gas tank. When ordering your EFI gas tank, make sure you get the right sending unit for your fuel gauge. There's a variety of ranges of ohms for the sending unit level senders. When it comes to installing the sending unit, the first step is to measure the depth of the fuel tank. Here you can see we've measured it out to be 10 inches. The total length of the sending unit from the top to the pivot of the sending unit should be half the depth of the fuel tank. In our case, that's gonna be five inches. So we're gonna to have to remove the extension. With the extension removed, We'll check the depth from the top to the pivot, set it to 5 inches, and reinstall the screws. To set the length of the float arm, position the float about a quarter inch from the top of the sending unit. Make a mark beyond the pivot point that would still allow the float arm wire to impact the float arm stops on the sending unit. Now cut the float arm to length using a hacksaw or a wire snips. Remove the wire that's in the pivot of the extending unit and install the float arm and pay attention to the orientation of the float. Double check that the depth of the empty position of the float is still at about 10 inches. Before installing the sending unit in the gas tank, align the gasket because the holes are not evenly spaced. The sending unit can only be installed in one position. Align the holes in the sending unit with the holes in the gas tank and install the screws and tighten. Now we're going to make the wires for the fuel pump module. The sending units only require one wire to operate properly. When making the extension wire for the sending unit, be sure to install the rubber boot and use a high quality crimp. Install a ring terminal on the wire from the fuel gauge. After crimping, be sure to check that the crimp has attached securely. Now it's time to install the power wire for the fuel pump module. Be sure to use a supplied lock washer and nut and tighten securely then cover with the supplied rubber boots. So that covers the basics of installing a sending unit into an EFI gas tank. If you have any questions or comments, leave them below. If you want to contact us, go to our website at fitechefi.com. Thanks for tuning in. Join us again next week for another Tech Tuesday at FiTech.